Y'all think you're so great getting your Sonic movie opinions out in a timely fashion and all that hunky-dory hacky sack? You got nothing on me. You could have dropped a two-hour discussion on the Sonic trailer literally five seconds after it came out, and I still would be a year ahead of you. He's just salty that he didn't have the work ethic to get this opinion out in a timely manner and is taking it out on others because he's bad with emotions. Go easy on him. Dad, stop. You're embarrassing me in front of my friends. This is 2017, Peter, and he's a freaking wizard who can spot a bad movie from a late year away. No, honestly, I really admire 2017, Peter. Nowadays, he just can't figure out if he's a Funny Moments channel, an essay channel, or a commentary channel, and he won't stop going on about that stupid picture of Wario talking about his purpose. Just stop. Nobody gets his meme. Okay, let's start making sense now. What am I talking about with all this chat of being a time-traveling wizard and being way ahead of everybody on the Sonic movie discussion? You probably also want me to explain what's going on with this upcoming movie and why people are so uptight about it, even though everyone and their mother have already explained it to you more times than something that is a lot of times. I am just poor Neanderthal who lives under rock. I have never seen a Sonic or a Sonic opinion. Please explain, whiny internet nerd. Well, it all started back in 2000-something I can't be bothered to calculate when Sega announced that they had a Sonic movie in the works. This in and of itself is concerning given that all video game movies are prone to poopiness, but also concerning because it was supposedly going to be live action and CGI, a genre ridden with money-hungry cash grabs such as Yogi Bear, Hop, The Smurfs, and Elvin and the Chipmunks. You can like these movies all you want, and I won't say there aren't a few that I haven't liked myself, but no matter what your opinion is on these films, they were all made more on the idea of making money than the idea of having ideas. They all got greenlit because they would rope in tons of numbers by feeding in people's nostalgia, and I'm sure a lot of bigwig producers saw the idea of a Sonic movie as being just as profitable. At the time this was announced, I decided to make a light-hearted, reasonable video on why this movie was going to end all peace and happiness leading to the second apocalypse. Now, some people were a little upset with this video, a few weren't very fond of my negative expectations, as most audiences tend to be, and a lot more were upset that I made a video talking about the Sonic movie, but it ended up just ranting about Elvin and the Chipmunks for 10 minutes straight, with really, really choppy looking footage. Aw oh, gee, I thought this was gonna be a video about what you expected from the Sonic movie, not a thesis on a movie about chipmunks eating poop. Excuse you? Are you not entertained? Did you see the thumbnail? There's a picture of Elvin taking up 3 trillion percent of the image, and the video's 13 minutes, and you expect me to talk about something that doesn't even exist yet and still have enough substance to get that 10 minute ad revenue. So at the time, my video didn't fare too well with audiences, and yeah, I get it. I was just really mad at Elvin that week, okay? Anyway, the video sat in my upload list for a good year or so, and it did fine with views overall, but I had generally forgotten about it. Seeing as Sega hadn't added any new information to the topic of the Sonic movie in a long time, it wasn't a very popping topic for the most part. Then one morning I woke up to gasp, what's this, a positive comment on a video of mine? Those are my favorite. In fact, there was a lot of comments of people just saying, huh. You know, this guy actually did warn us of the apocalypse, and we ignored him. Guess I'll like the video before we all die. So why were people suddenly interested in a video that I'd uploaded over a year ago, especially when the thumbnail of that video had some random Spyro-level art in the background? What made me think to do that? Well, it turns out on that fateful day, Paramount had released the first trailer for the forthcoming Sonic movie, and it was... Well, this movie really was going to end all peace and happiness and lead to the second apocalypse. The internet actually threw a hissy fit that day over a trailer for a movie that nobody even seemed to care much about before. Why? Sonic Teeth. Needless to say, this trailer outraged a ton of fans and non-fans of Sonic the Hedgehog for many reasons, blah blah blah, you've heard it all before. People didn't like the look, the voices, the effects, the setting, the lore, the teeth, the shoes, the music. Opinions were flying everywhere with the force of a thousand suns, and as we have seen, opinions are very unhealthy for internet people. The overall consensus was that the trailer was trash, and everything that we had progressed towards as a human race was lost. But in my own circle, I actually saw a lot of people being pretty optimistic about this thing. Turns out that this trailer was a little more diverse in reception than all the memes and commentary videos would have you think. Some people actually liked how Sonic looked, and liked the dialogue, and liked the music choice, and okay, I mean, nothing wrong with a little optimism. I probably would have had similar opinions a couple of years ago. Now at this point, people have already fed you about a million calories of Sonic movie trailer opinions, and I don't want to waste your time with just another opinion on it, so... I'll keep my opinions brief. At first glance, everything about this trailer looks the opposite of what they should be doing. This doesn't look like Eggman, this doesn't look like Sonic, this is James Marsden from that other movie where he has a furry friend in a car and it's shot like a scene from Seinfeld. Gangster's Paradise isn't a Sonic song, what are you goofs doing? So here's the thing, I watched the trailer, and the only thing I liked about it was Jim Carrey as Eggman. Not because he was funny, 
or looked like Eggman, but because he was overacting all the time, because that's what Jim Carrey does, and it's it's entertaining. Then I saw other people dislike it, and I thought, oh well, I guess it's just bad, and that's it. I guess I'll go on about my day, sit in a chair for 10 hours, clicking on stuff. Then I started seeing that there were actually a good amount of people defending the trailer, saying that even though it wasn't accurate to the source material, it was actually bordering on self-awareness just enough to seem like a parody. And I heard these opinions, and logically, I thought to myself, Nah, the trailer's trash, bro. What are you doing? So I let my opinion be just that and moved on about my life, questioning if I should exile myself to a distant island for being a Sonic fan. But then something happened. Something that made me question my sanity and integrity as a human being. The days went on, and of course, the trailer became a huge meme, and it was the talk of the town for weeks. On my daily treks through the internet, I would see the trailer at least ten times in combined meme clips and edited images. And the more I looked and listened and thought, the more I realized I was slowly growing attached to this trailer. The more memes I saw, and the more people talked and ranted and jested about this bizarre piece of cinema, the more I realized that I was slowly growing attached to this weird-looking monster. I was slowly beginning to like how seriously the trailer took itself with the music and slow motion. I was, for some reason, really warming up to everything about it. Of course, these feelings had to be misguided, and so I told myself that I would suppress them, bury them deep within my soul, and, and never question why they were popping up to begin with. I didn't even want to think there was anything to like about the trailer. But then something happened that gave me a strange awakening. And it wasn't this. Only a few weeks after the trailer dropped and everyone's life was put on hold to scream about it on the internet, Paramount tweeted, Thank you for the support and the criticism. The message is loud and clear. You aren't happy with the design and you want changes. It's going to happen. Everyone at Paramount and Sega are fully committed to making this character the best he can be. And just like that, the reality of the Sonic movie was swooped out from under our feet. This idea that so many of us despised and now had accepted was gone, just like that. And although most everyone rejoiced and praised Jeff Fowler for taking this step, <laughs> Jeff, I was left feeling just a bit empty. It was then that I realized just why I had started to like the trailer, why everything about this mess of a video was somehow making me excited. And it was because of us. On its own, the trailer was still not very good in my opinion. The design is really creepy to me, it just doesn't look like Sonic. If you like it, that's awesome, I wish I were you, but I just could not get behind it. Eggman just isn't Eggman, and the music, it's... really was just a bizarre choice. But after all is said and done, we took that concept, and we, the internet, gave it a personality. With all the memes and edits and fan art and what is this and videos and blogs and tweets and discussions and all the attention we gave it, we slowly gave this thing a story, a legacy, heck, a purpose. The internet, in all its negativity, became this thing's biggest fan, and everyone was in on it. We took something that we generally hated, and we accidentally made it far more funny, fascinating, likable, we showed its potential for failure and success, and at the end of the day, we made a character that the world will never forget, and I think that this guy has a lot more fans than we may think because of it. Now, you could say that it's kind of sad that this thing we created, this era, this character, this universe, will never be getting a movie and will be replaced with some hopefully inoffensive redesigns and a trailer that could be just fine. It could still be the same movie that was set to come out, maybe just with things looking a little different, but we could also have completely lost whatever it was we were going to get. But at the end of the day, this just makes him more our character. This is our trailer. The memories and expectations we had of it will remain the same. It'll be its own little thing overall, and... I quite enjoyed it. No matter what Sega changes about the movie, whatever it is that we thought of it, whatever weird, twisted ideas we had, that'll remain its own thing. Something that we made, and something that definitely won't be soon forgotten. But hey, we might be getting a better Sonic movie now, so I personally am not as self-conscious about my lifestyle as a YouTuber who sometimes makes Sonic videos. You truly have nothing to be ashamed of anymore. Nope. Nothing you do makes you look like an idiot. Nope. Nothing that makes you seem insane like talking to cardboard. Nope. Oh, I almost forgot. They made him say gotta go fast in the trailer. Like, this has to be a joke. Do they have no idea what the repercussions of saying gotta go fast in an actual Sonic trailer coming? Those words coming out of Sonic's mouth? Those words have never been muttered in, in a game or in the show. Or a, it's a line from the Sonic X theme song. 
It has absolutely no correlation to the series whatsoever. The internet turned it into a meme, and you know someone at Paramount just was looking around the internet like, oh, Sonic says gotta go fast. You can tell because the internet says that he does, and they just took it, and they're like, yeah, that's just, that's an iconic thing. That's the Sonic thing. We'll have him say that, and then people will be like, oh, Sonic said the Sonic thing, but it's not a Sonic thing. This is, this has no correlation. This makes about as much sense as putting Gangster's Paradise as a theme song. I'm just gonna keep ranting about this for a while. I don't know why this triggered me so much. It didn't make any sense, and everyone else I talked to was like, I, you're overreacting. This really isn't that far-fetched, but it is. This doesn't what? I, I, I don't know. I disagree. I don't understand the world. I don't understand Paramount. I don't understand.